Sir, going the extra mile to get you financed. The Apsa Off-Road Championship preview continues on Supersport and in the Nissan camp there are some interim plans. Team manager, Glenn Hall. 2007, we got a really interesting lineup and some exciting new uh, things happening on the cars. If we look at the crews first, we've got Hannes and Francois in last year's car and we're going to call this an interim car for 2007 where we've got only 50% or thereabouts upgrades on his vehicle. We're keeping Hannes' uh, assault on the championship a conservative one to begin with, and uh, we're letting the other three cars really run all the new stuff. I think this is a safer option. Hannes knows what he's doing, and uh, we need him to be there definitely at the end. So from the second race, he'll have a new upgrade. In the second car, we've got uh, Duncan and Ralph still. Now, this is their original car, but it's been totally rebuilt with all the latest suspension and engine modifications done with a new engine management system and uh, we're expecting great things. Then to back up these two cars, we've got a new entry into the uh, 2007 calendar, a new driver, Ivar Tollefsen from Norway. will be running all eight rounds of the championship in a brand new car which he will later take from the South African championship through to Dakar. It's a brand new spec FIA car identical to the ones that we used on the race in the Dakar last year. Mm -hmm. And accompanying uh, Ivar will be Mark Corbett in the Century Properties uh, deal, and he'll have a new co-driver with Rudy, and uh, their car is identical in specification to Duncan, uh, Ivar, and of course Mark makes the third car. So we're expecting great things from Mark. He's uh, really showed good pace last year, and his intention is as well to go onto the uh, Dakar for 2008. For the first time in six years, however, the Japanese giant had to let go of the manufacturer's trophy and pass it to Toyota. It left a sour taste in their mouths, and the Midrand-based outfit have increased their band of privateers extensively. For the manufacturer's championship, of course, we, uh, we didn't like losing it last year, and uh, we've had a directive from above, we want it back. So in order to do that, we've uh, really extended ourselves, and we can only win the manufacturer's championship with a great support from our privateer teams, and uh, th this is what we've got lined up for this year. Accompanying the four SB cars, super production cars, we've got uh, Henry Zermatum, which will be using a Class D car that was uh, formerly one Class D with Alfie Cox. We've got a brand new vehicle with uh, Johan Gerber and um, Kutsia Labaskakni driving. We've got the two factory uh, supported cars, or should we say dealer team cars, of BB Auto with um, Arnold Duplessis and his brother Andre driving the second car and they uh, contributed many points to us last year and then in Class E we've got Thomas Randall and uh, his car showed great promise last year with good turn of speed and he's up against some pretty stiff competition so we'll be holding high hopes for Thomas. And hopefully the Barden Tire Services outfit with Randall at the wheel will not have too many moments such as this one in 2007. But he and his co-driver Brian Roberts will be trying to put together consistency rather than just all-out speed, as this has been proven to be the one thing that wins races in the off-road circuit. Consistency coupled with sheer doggedness, of course. There's no doubt about it, Rundle has a load of talent. Watch him this year. Naim Mosaji is another very talented driver, but 2006 is a year that he will want to forget in a hurry. We had four races. We hopefully over all our teething problems and uh, driving in the uh, car. So we're looking forward to a new season and uh, we put the foot down a bit and get it going now. The TTR Racing Jimco did keep up nicely, but was beset by technical problems at the most inopportune moments, which hurt. The, the pace didn't seem too much of a problem for us. We had uh, one or two good finishes or fairly good finishes, but we always seem to be having some other small problem, uh, which then takes time away. So we've had computer boxes that got water in and... Uh, Okay, we did hit the nice donga, so that did affect us. But other than that, we, we, I think we're on the pace, or we're close to the pace. And there's a little bit of practice, we'll get there. Mosaji is a driver with loads of natural talent, and he and his co-driver, Rehan Bodhanya, have very solid relationships going in the car. 
They were admittedly dogged by some bad luck, but then there is always the factor of nursing a car around the course at the same time. It's a fine art, and perhaps 2007 is the year that the Yongma Saji gets these two factors right. Whatever the case may be, this young man can certainly let it hang out when he has to. The Plastotech race car with the experienced veteran multiple champion Richard Schilling and his navigator Chris Davies had an impressive 2006 and narrowly finished second in Class S. This KG Dio should be carefully watched as they make their way in Class in 07. The new Nasha Mobile entry featuring Michael Whitehouse and Dean Langton will also be a strong combination. While their stablemate 2005 champion Terence Marsh will have Andre Grunewald in the car with him for company. Marsh is always fast, exacting and deliberate and he will be tough to beat if things go well on the mechanical front. John Moore and Ashley Thorne and the Leo Connex car had a solid if unspectacular 06 and if their trend is anything to go by, look to them for a podium finish or two in Class A. Hermann Solvot is a tough competitor and with his co-driver Mornay Miller should form a very reliable partnership in their Zarko Magnum Chev. Brother Karl Heinz with his navigator Manikis Halberg will form a potent twosome as well. Let's face it, that Chevy is a joy to listen to. The big raps are back of Nardis Alberts and Colin Hunter had a big win in 2006. While Clint Gibson in the absolute back with his co Mike Brown also had a 06 that is something to build on and 2007 is the year to follow up on. Clint's younger brother, Glenn, has again entered in Class S. In his absolute ace code with a 3-litre Nissan engine, his learning curve should continue. The father and son combination of Rob and Gareth Walk and the Super Pave Bat have a real working relationship. They share the driving and thus the navigating responsibilities equally, and it seems to work for them. Archie Rutherford and Craig Doubtfire have for the first time stepped up to the plate in Class A and with all their experience will be a crew closely watched. Also in Class A, up from the S-Class is Gary Gillingham and his co-driver Peter van Fieren in the Koppenung Hotel Super Team. They have a wealth of experience behind them and it should be good to watch. Well, we sold out the S-Class car and we've, we purchased Nick's, Nick Harper's uh, class winning bat. Um, we've worked hard on fitness, we've worked hard on our mental attitude. And yeah, it's, it's now just to go out there and, uh, and do the thing. We've also joined up with the, the Kopenong Hotel team. Um, as we realize, we need to be more professional. So uh, Joe Lima gave us the opportunity to join him. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen. He's going to prep the car and use his vehicle to, to take our vehicle to the, to the races. And uh, hopefully we can improve our performances in the A-Class. That's you. We've already told you about the GPS-based satellite tracking device which every car in all the categories will have installed come the first race in Darling on March the 16th. Well, this is what the little box of tricks is all about. Motorite insurance administrators have concluded a sponsorship deal with the Off-Road Commission, thus bringing the sport right into line with modern-day up-to-the-minute technology and safety features online with systems used in international rallying and cross-country events overseas like the Dakar Rally. With the help of this nifty little device, organizers will now be able to sit at Race HQ with an exact idea of where competitors are, while the racers will have the peace of mind of knowing 
that when something goes horribly wrong, that help is at hand with a press of a button. Funny thing, Motorite's payoff line is peace of mind motoring. Huge. But then our entry. Huh? You want that on all the time? No, no, just. Uh, yes, yes, you, to, you to, to charge it. Yes, yeah, it's so on. Just leave it. It's important to select the good stage to authorize to charge the data. And like this, you will see that in. And once all the installation has been done, it will be a joy for the drivers as well as for those folks who want to follow exactly what's happening with their chargers as well as those guys and girls that they support out there on the off-road circuit. Back to our preview of the first race of the year though and in the Keymax property bat, the father and son combination of Jan and Hendrik Kroy impressed all in sundry with a great debut season last year and should they pick up where they left off, they will be a force to be reckoned with in Class B. In the Adinko stable, the Besave notes will be good to watch. Bez will be in car with Johanna Brain as his navigator in Class B. While Johan and Etienne Besave note will be in the second Adenko car, also sporting a two-liter Nissan engine. Rudy and Pierre van Graan had a solid partnership in the Techno Chair Zarco last year, but Rudy still has to announce a co-driver for the new season. Still in Class B, Mark de Chalain will be in car with a new co-driver, Alistair Stubbs, in his new Viper AMPM Toyota 2-litre. While the always lurking pair of John Thompson and Clint McNamara from Swaziland are a crew who can upset the apple cart in Class B. National Class S champion Nick Gosland, Richard Carolyn pair up in Class S and all told it should be off-road of the highest quality. Vehicle on